Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here and let's learn the mnemonic for the day which is related to bacterial toxins. So let's learn it with MCQ. Which of the following toxins act by inactivating EF2? What do you think would be the answer to this? So the correct answer to this is Cornebacterium diphtheri which acts by inactivating EF2. What is the mnemonic to remember this? When we say EF, remember A, B, C, D, E, F. So remember CD is EF, that is Cornebacterium diphtheri. CD is Cornebacterium diphtheri. It acts by EF, that is EF2 inactivation. Which is the other bacterial toxin which acts by EF2 inactivation? It is Pseudomonas. So to remember that, remember Pseudo, that is Do, is EF2, that is 2. Do means 2. So EF2, so remember A, B, C, D, E, F and pseudomonas is your EF2 inactivation and by inactivating EF2 basically they are inhibiting protein synthesis. Recently we had posted this mnemonic for bacterial toxins which increase cyclic AMP on our Instagram post. Let's quickly revise that. The trick for cyclic AMP increasing toxins CAMP is CAMP and how do we remember CA rather it is basically M. M when you will turn it, it will become E, right? M when rotated, it will become E. So remember it's C A M that is C A E P. C for cholera, A for anthrax, E for E TAC, and P for pertussis. Even in E TAC, remember it's the labile toxin, which is cyclic AP increasing, not the stable one. The trick to remember that is labile in the air, stable on the ground. So labile in the air, A for cyclic AMP, stable on the ground. G for cyclic GMP. So the heat labile toxin is the one which is your cyclic AMP increasing. Heat stable is cyclic GMP increasing. The rest are CAMP. I hope you found this mnemonic helpful. If yes, do like this video and share it with your friends and juniors who would benefit out of this. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in my next one. Till then, goodbye, take care and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning. Thank you.